Hello, this is Gary Crowley with DoItYourselfJointPainRelief.com and this is video one of four videos for upper right back pain relief. Pain somewhere up in this area and uh, over the course of these four videos we're going to run through uh, basically all the things you can do yourself uh, to fix your upper right back pain. Uh, video one we're going to cover all the stuff in the area where it hurts uh, for you but also um, in these bodies a lot of times there are things in other areas that are pulling on the area that hurts that are actually causing it to hurt. So in video two we're going to release the some things in the front of your chest that can be yanking on the back of your on your upper uh, right back. Uh, we're going to release some stuff on the side of your chest that can be yanking on this upper right back and then we're going to be uh, releasing some things kind of in your neck and lower neck uh, that can also be affecting uh, your upper back. So in uh, video one here, we're going to get to work on the area where you're actually feeling the pain. And um, again, I encourage you to uh, visit my techniques page on my website where over one or two minutes I show you these techniques specifically uh, that I'm going to use here. But you can also just play along and I'll try to explain while I'm doing it here as well. So we're going to do what I call a sports ball release uh, on uh, all these upper back muscles. There's some uh, erector spinae muscles that run along the side of your spine. So if this is your spine, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run down and make sure that big rope that runs up the side of your spine is free. Um, then there's a bunch of muscles between your spine and your shoulder blade, uh, your rhomboids and your trapezius muscles and some other things uh, that we want to make sure are released. And then there's muscles basically on your shoulder blade that we want to release, one called your infraspinatus and then your trapezius again. So the first thing we're going to do though, is we're going to take a tennis ball and I call this a sports ball release because everybody's a little different. Um, I tend to use a tennis ball because everybody has one uh, or generally has one and if you do this on the floor with a tennis ball it's probably the best. This table actually has a lot of, has a lot of give but what I do is I just lay this ball down and then I scoot around to get it right next to my spine, not on my spine, but just to the right of it since it's my right back pain that's, that I'm trying to get after. And then what you want to do is you want to find a, a painful spot, a spot where it's tender when the ball presses into it. And then while keeping that ball in one spot, you don't want to try to massage yourself with the ball. You want to keep that pressure in one spot. You then want to make your make that tissue you're pressing into move. Now because it's right along the side of your spine, you're basically going to want to make your spine move a little bit. So I'm, I go to the left here, I could go to the, the right, but generally if you go to the left you're kind of forcing that muscle to release a little bit more. So I go to the left, there, and that little spot just let go. And then I move down, and because I'm on the computer a lot, um, I have spots in my upper back that are tight. And this one, again, you let go. Now when you press into one spot and you make the muscle move, your cerebellum at the top of your brain stem basically gets the message that you want that muscle to function better than it's functioning now. And so that's why you don't want to massage it. That's, that's not going to get the job done here the way we want it to get done. So you can do that and get it to release and then you just basically move up your spine until you're about at the bottom of your neck. And when you've got that stuff pretty well released um, we're going to move on to the next thing, but I do want to point out that for me, because this is kind of cushy, um, if I was on the floor, the tennis ball would be great, but because I'm on this table, basically this baseball gets in there, wow, even better, which is really nice, actually. That's kind of what I need for this amount of cushion on my, on my table here. But, but we're going to keep doing it with the tennis ball, since I'm demoing for you here. And now I'm going to move, so we did right along the spine, now we're going to do the area between the spine and my shoulder blade where a muscle called your rhomboid and a big muscle called your trapezius uh, are. And I'm right kind of in the belly of that, that upper back and this might be exactly where you're feeling that pain. And it could be your rhomboid, it could be your trapezius, but again, it's just reacting probably to a lot of the modern living we do, sitting on computers, driving cars. And boy, that actually feels really good. So you release that, and I just scoot around um, and find all the tender spots. You can play around, take your time, no rush. And if you want, you can put the ball in a sock, throw it 
over your shoulder, lean against the wall and do this. I prefer the floor. I can use all this body weight pretty well. Uh, so then we do that. So now we've done along your spine. We've done between your shoulder blade and your spine. And now I'm going to get on my shoulder blade. Let me move this over here. I'm going to lay my shoulder blade right on this ball. It takes a little wiggling around. Now this, in me, is pretty darn tight. And again, I think it's probably more from computing than anything else. But that ball's pressed into a tight spot. I make that tissue move by moving my arm. And it lets go pretty well. I mean, I get in here one fairly regularly because, again, computing is hard on a body. And you just find the way. I mean, that actually lets go pretty, pretty quickly for me because I, I dig in there fairly often. But again, I do, and it, then I go sit on my computer for way too long making all these videos, and uh, it tightens up again. So that is um, basically what, what I call a press hold move with, uh, with a tennis ball press. Uh, and on the techniques page on my website, I again, it's a minute or two for each video, but basically you're using that ball to press into one area, and then you're moving your body in a way that makes that tissue have to function or move under the pressure of that ball. And boy, your cerebellum way at the top of your brain stem really gets the message that you want that muscle to let go. So go along your spine with the ball, come out a little bit, two, three inches out, cover that whole area, any tender spot, just move, make it function. And then the tissue on your shoulder blade, which is basically, it's a couple layers of muscle, but you find the tender spots, move that arm, get it to release as best you can. And then, now what you want to do is you just want to assess for a minute, okay, so how much, should that help my, how much should that help my upper right back pain? Is it completely gone? Is it mostly gone except for when I do that or when I do that or whatever it is? And just notice um, how tight things work. There's more stuff you want to come back to later because uh, after we do all this other stuff, the stubborn stuff might be gone or it might let go really easily because you've got all these things affecting this whole area. So that's video one. Um, just do your little self-assessment and I will see you at video two and thank you for your time.